All right, you're still watching Ways Now. National Son and Daughter Day is a holiday celebrated annually on August 11th. The day is a time to celebrate the love and joy that sons and daughters bring to their families. It is also a time to reflect on the importance of parenthood and to appreciate the sacrifices that parents make for their children. The holiday was first celebrated in 1984 by Marian Cord, a mother of five from St. Louis, Missouri, and um, Cord wanted to create a day to honor both sons and daughters as she felt that they were often overlooked on holidays like Mother's Day and Father's Day. What an interesting day. To my sons, happy. <laughs> I say happy son day. My but son is actually going to be 17 tomorrow. Whoa. Just I used to, like I saw him when was it on Wednesday. I was like, whoa, who's that guy? <laughs> <laughs> they're both of them. Like, they're literally taller than me. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Can you imagine? You're such a I've recently mom. been seeing something <laughs> on social media which I'm liking. Which I'm just one? like clicking the like button. Like, pop, <laughs> My pop, son, pop, right? Pop. Yeah. Go on social media like, too. Oh, wow. Is unleashing his inner. <laughs> yeah, and it's just beautiful to see them yeah. growing into men. Like, I was listening to one of his clips on Talent Speaks or something. Mm where he was talking about rejection, because this is the phase where they have to like, apply to universities and you know you get responses and some will reject you. And I was just like, Kai, see growth, see maturity, see him handling it like him. No, what? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> but well done, Alpha. Like, I'm so yeah, proud of you. It's going to be his birthday tomorrow. I don't even know whether I have any plans. I didn't, I don't you have should any have a plan. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to come the for Lord you. The Lord be with you, Alpha. <laughs> I love you. You know, I have nothing but love. But hey, it's um. What did we find in the news? So yeah, let's concentrate. Okay, <laughs> so Big Brother Niger All Stars. It's been, I think so far, it's been making a lot of waves more than the last two or three Big Brothers. So now the thing is, yesterday night they were, they were having a pool party, and something happened that got a lot of users on Twitter, sorry, X, talking, and so it happened that Messi former winner, was dancing with fraud, who we obviously know is a married man, and his wife is... Oh, is he married? Fraud yeah. is married. Ah, what, what, what planet are you on? Sorry, I don't know them. I don't watch it. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to know this. Okay. Your TV is on parallax. It's okay. Yes, very. <laughs> so, um, now, fraud is married. His wife is heavily pregnant with their first child. And so there was a pool party in the house yesterday, Thursday night, and fraud was dancing with Mercy. And... Like, the dance was... Erotic. It was very erotic. So that got a lot of people talking, like, fraud, why are you doing this? You have a pregnant wife. What is the issue of why are you doing this? The pregnant wife that dancing. allowed him to enter the house. And so come. now here is the contrast. To what. So we are looking at the three married men, the three non-married men in Big Brother. Think all Tony, fraud, and Mike. Now, everybody was, you know, backlashing fraud and likening him to think all Tony, only that this time he told everybody he was married. However, Mike was married. He was in the house. All the erotic, everything that happened in the house happened. But we saw how he carried himself with respect for his wife, knowing that once you decide to commit to a woman and you have a ring on it, there is a line is drawn, you know. See, As there's another star you're forgetting to mention. Mm -hmm. At least that one I know him. Even if I don't watch Big Brother. Uh, Toby Bakri. Mm -hmm. Is his wife not heavily pregnant? What's Toby? Where is, Toby? Wait, where is he? It's with his wife. So, for the fact that you decided to enter the house in the first place, mm. that is even where I have the problem. It's not whether you are going there to go and dance with somebody or whatever. Like, literally, why would you go there? You know? Wouldn't you be happy to be present with your wife and work, I mean, watch the pregnancy grow and all of those things? Are there, are there things that are more important to you at this point than your unborn child? Does it make sense? So oh, for wow. me, I, I find it that he's a very irresponsible human being. I, I did not watch it. I don't want to watch it. Okay. But for the fact that you've been accepted, I've been pregnant twice. I know what it means to be pregnant. So you accepted to leave a pregnant woman that is heavy okay. to go to a big brother Fraud? house. Fraud Come is on. not irresponsible. He Listen, is. I went to the same university, Unizi Kwaka, with this guy. He is not irresponsible. Okay. Plus, you saw when he entered the house, the wife was, there was clips online yeah, about the wife, she, like, congratulating him, like, girl, go, my boo, I love you, make it, get the money. She was being so supportive. So both of them are irresponsible. <laughs> so, I just, oh, I, I, no, I, I, no, I'm serious, I'm being oh, honest. No, um, um, you don't joke with pregnancy. Do you understand? You're carrying a human being inside of you, for goodness sake. Fact. You don't joke with it. You can't be doing all of all those kind of things. What is more important to you right now? Is the is your unborn child? Hmm. Come on, let's put 
call what it is, it is. I mean, this one is the height of irresponsibility. If you say she cheered him up, two of them, they're irresponsible, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Ah. Please go ahead, Abel, no verse. <laughs> Okay, what is the news? It's about that's like okay, I didn't that's like from zero to hundred <laughs> in split seconds, but that's fine. Okay, people should give me all the I've told you, I don't want to be here for one month. If you're so stressed, me all. Okay, my what's in the news is about Speed Darlington and his um, comments on or his post on one of the social media platforms where he was like he wants to get a second girlfriend between the age of 16 to 20. So he received a lot of backlash, especially because the age he mentioned was 16 like... 16 is a child. That's exactly what a lot of people... And I'm <laughs> like, at what point do people get to know that they are crossing the line and it's no longer cruise? Because it's like these days, everything is cruise on social media. I'll just come out and just say what I want to say, and that's fine. So I think um, this is totally wrong for him to... And there is, within joke, you can, mm -hmm. there's some truth in joke. So I feel like people should not just come on social media and just say whatever because it's social media and they just want to catch crews. Perhaps you were just catching crews or I, trying I, to. I, I guess so, because why would you even be saying you're looking for a second girlfriend? Like, Speed, Speed, Speed what is his name? But this Speed guy. Is, and he was I, even making so, comparison between Nigeria, like he, um, he's freer in Nigeria when compared to his U.S. When you when go he was on his law page, he's always somewhere doing something. So these people, you should know that there are some people that are just looking for clout. And he's one of those yeah, people. But, oh, you, you know this kind of lady? nuisance that you become nuisance that people just, no. whether they like it or not, they have to notice you. That's, I think that's what I see in this guy. Why do we have to be responsible for every day, <laughs> today, every week? I feel, oh, uh, you remember this lady, um, uh, the one that someone on, on TikTok said something about her and she had to go arrest her? Bad, oh, yeah, bad moss. Yeah, bad moss. Bad bad moss. Yeah, bad moss. yeah, that action that she took, I feel that maybe if, we normally or like the the forces yeah. or something would take up actions like yeah. that. Like Spidelli said something like this, you could get him arrested no. under the count. That what did he say? Sixteen is so they are thirteen year olds being married off in, in the north. I mean, your your lawmaker. Well, he, he does he is not right. a, That's the point. No, if you want to territorial no, um, auntie, allowances. If you want to go to that place, let mm. us go and start from the national well, assembly. Yeah. Do you understand? Let's mm. go and start from there first, because you see. It is because, again, we are lawless people. That's why anything can, can fly. You know, there are some places that they will hold you. Mm. You know, like, literally, they would arrest you for, mm -hmm. for, for making those, comments. those, those yeah. kind of yeah. comments. Let us focus on important <laughs> people. Okay. okay. Tell all us. All these ones, they are irresponsible. As you tell focus, us. Tell us. <laughs> Dr. Sam Adeyemi oh, okay. has said, he's the senior pastor of the Easter Christian Center. For those that do not know, mm -hmm. he declared, um, decried the huge gap between leaders and the masses, saying that it is a peculiar problem in Africa. He said Africans, um, African countries are dealing with a deeply rooted uh, leadership culture that makes leader very powerful and the led practically a slave um, across almost all sectors. And this, he was speaking against the backdrop of the military coup in Niger in a series of tweets that he um, tweeted, which was um, yesterday. Uh, it says neither military, democratic, nor monarch monarchical yeah. <laughs> systems have fostered rapid development in most African countries. So I, I, I really agree with um, Pastor Sam. Dr. Sam, yeah. Because again, I mean, yesterday I had a very intense, uh, you guys should watch out for that interview. Um, <laughs> I'm looking he, out for it. He brought out his chest and he was saying something when I was talking about it. He said there's no middle class in Nigeria. There's no middle class, like literally. I agree. We, it's, it's here and here, mm -hmm. right? Because you are just one policy away from poverty, you right. know, as we stand with the way things are going. Just like and the Naira floated. You know, so I, I really don't understand how leadership works. Are you not supposed to be happy to empower the people that you... So literally, I would want to retire and just watch things happen that mm -hmm. I have set up. That's how I see leadership. Not all the time, you know, in a position where I have to, uh, you know, oh yeah, you come and do this, I will have to, like, just literally control, yeah, be, in control. be in control of your life. No. You must let, at some point, let people grow. Mm -hmm. Let people thrive. Yeah. So yes. if, you are a, if you are a true leader, right, it is, it is actually a disservice to that title 
that you're not watching, you're watching your subordinates yeah. continue to look like slaves before you. Because, you know, sorry to cut you, you know, they would say that as a leader, your success is dependent on how you're able to raise more leaders. More leaders. More leaders. That is exactly. it. It's in the following, right? Mm -hmm. Do you understand the succession that they see that they can point 50 leaders that came out just because of your leadership? Yeah, just that is what a true leader is. And not the one that. So there's a, there's, a, there's a skewed way of leadership in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I want you to grow, but you cannot grow beyond a certain stage. Yeah. Yeah. You have to just, you know, you just have to be yeah. true. Oh, so I even guess. the ones that seemingly feel like they are helping you, and oh, they are, I can say I helped him, I put yeah. him there. Mm. If you dare, if you dare grow to a certain level, they, they cut your wings. They put a lid on you. They yes, put a lid on you. That is true. We really, we really must do better in, in, in this continent. Because we have so much, you know. Yeah. We have so much. Imagine if our leaders truly allowed every one of us to breathe. Yeah. Let us use right. their English. Mm -hmm. Do you know what will happen to this economy? We cannot be rivaled because we have so many great um, talents in this country. And I it sickens me. I was at the airport yesterday. Like, I literally came back home crying because I saw so many people leaving in this country. On that note, let's take a break. Let's discuss comedy and technology, people. <laughs>